Welcome back. So <clears throat> this lesson, we're going to work with a REST API and we're going to work with the C Sharp version, the web API. So um, I just gave you guys the intro to that you can actually pick a lot of these things just to build it. But we are going to work with C Sharp web API. We're going to work with the entity framework. We're going to work with an MS SQL server. We're going to work with C Sharp here. We're going to work with MVC here. And we're going to work with nah, your choice. I'm going to work with Chrome here. <laughs> But it's your choice for browser. So this will be the setup that we are going to try and build now from scratch. And I'm going to show you a lot of the things like we already talked a bit about the response request in previous videos for this lesson or sorry, this series. But we're going to look more into that. We're going to work with the REST API and we're going to add security into this because I want to show you a bit of security as well later on. So we want that as well. We want some kind of login system for the REST API. And um, so that's kind of the goal for these lessons that are coming up now. Later on, I will show you how you can use like Angular's front end instead with the exact same um, setup. Or I will use Aurelia. I'm not 100% sure yet because Angular moved into TypeScript and I'm not sure where I want to go. Maybe Aurelia is my better choice. I will figure it out. But later on, I'll try and show you the exact same setup that we're going to do here. But I'm going to show you with actually using a JavaScript front end instead of an MVC front end, right? So see you guys later and um, hope you guys will learn a lot from these lessons. Have fun.